Hey guys, welcome back to Inchworm Gardens. On today's Variety Spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at the Sweet Bonnet Pepper. This is a milder version of the famous Jamaican Scotch Bonnet. So we're gonna take a look at the plant and we're gonna see how it tastes. All right, so there's the plant as it looks in the garden. It's the one right there on the corner. Come around here for a better shot. It's about two feet tall right now. We're in middle of July. Here's a look at the leaves, nice dark green color, a little bit crinkly. You can see how they compare to my shishito peppers over here, which are more thin and smooth. Really nice looking plant. Here's a look at the unripe fruit. So it's green, starts off green, and look at that cool shape. So this is called a, a oh no, oops. All right, I guess we'll see how a green pepper tastes today, too. <laughs> so I was going to comment on the shape of this. So the name Scotch Bonnet um, comes from the name of the Tam O'Shanter hat that uh, is worn in Scotland. You know, those little flat plaid hats. So that's where that name comes from. All right, we'll try that one as well. Here's a look at slightly not fully ripe fruit. You can see it's a little bit orange. Let's get some focus there. Let's try not to break this one off. There we go. And then here's a nice dark red one, fully ripe. Focus. There we go. Nice dark red, really pretty on the plant. That's the one that we'll be sampling today. So it's grown really well. Um, you know, it is a hot pepper technically, so it grows kind of slow like most hot peppers do. The species is the Capsicum chinense, which is in the same family as the habanero and the ghost pepper and the Carolina reaper. But it's interesting, on the packet it actually calls it a Capsicum anum, and I read online that there's kind of some debate whether it's which species it actually is. Not that that really matters, we're just trying to get a basic idea of what the plant looks like what the fruit looks like, and most importantly, how it tastes, which we will try here in just a second. There you go. Oh yeah, and this is a cardinal vine flower growing, <laughs> so don't mind that. But there you go, it's grown well. I'm gonna show you real quick a picture of two other plants that I have growing in my front yard because they look a little bit different. So this one in the front is smaller, more compact, actually has way more fruits for whatever reason and also just happens to be covered in ants. I think because there's aphids on here. But you can see there's a lot more fruit production going on here. And then right next to it, another one similar, similarly smaller sized and a lot of fruit. All right, so let's harvest this bad boy, see how it tastes. Really cool shape. Very pretty pepper. All right, so upon first inspection, there's quite a bit of seeds in here, actually. I'm surprised. Looks fairly thin-walled. Looks like it'll have a good little crunch to it. But um, yeah, first, first impression, very seedy, which is great. You can save these. All right, the smell. Really just kind of smells like a red bell pepper. I was expecting more of like a pungent, you know, like that hot pepper smell. Um, I tried a habanada, which is the mild version of the habanero, and it smelled just like a habanero. This does not smell like a scotch bonnet to me, honestly. Hmm, okay, well, that's fine. All right, let's see how it tastes. I'm gonna cut this one in half so we still have some seeds and a good chunk of the pepper here. All right, sweet bonnet. 
Mm. Okay, it does have the flavor. That was a very seedy bite. No heat. Not super flavorful, honestly. Kind of expecting a little bit more punch. Um, it's a nice flavor. It tastes like a bell pepper, and it does have a little bit of that um, kind of hot pepper flavor a little bit, but not a ton, honestly. I'm gonna take out some of these seeds. That was a little bit, a little bit much. Do another little bite here. Just like the slightest tingle, but otherwise no heat. Tastes pretty good. Not super impressed, honestly. It's got a nice sweetness. I think it would probably be good with sauces to be used in cooking, but it didn't blow me away with the flavor. That was my first time trying that, by the way. All right, well, just for fun, let's try this green one since I accidentally knocked it off. And you can absolutely still use green peppers like this. Even if they're, you know, they're not ripe, obviously, but they're still edible and can be used in cooking. And so it smells similarly to that last one, similar to it, but it has a little bit of the kind of earth, kind of grassy, unripe plant flavor or aroma. Hmm. That's kind of nice. And that one actually is a little bit warmer. Okay, yeah. Well, it had kind of like a, a, a real bright flavor at first. I think it was just because it was, it was not ripe. I had like a fresh, more fresh kind of bright flavor. But, um, and a little bit of a tingle of heat that's actually hotter than the red one. But you don't get that full like rich pepper flavor. Like the, the red one had more of a pepper flavor. All right, well, I don't know, that's pretty good. Take another little bite here. It's tasty. It's fine pepper to grow. Honestly, not completely blown away by the flavor. But uh, worth checking out. Don't know what else to say about it. Kind of a letdown, to be honest. Okay, there it was, the Sweet Bonnet Pepper. If you guys enjoyed that, if you think that looked good, then pick up some seeds, you can grow it yourself. Hey, maybe maybe uh, something was off with my plant, with my growing conditions. Those things can vary greatly, so I won't write it off completely. I'm gonna try, I have three other, two other plants, so I'm gonna try peppers from all of them. And um, if anything is a huge change, I will let you know, but that was my first try and first reaction to the Sweet Bonnet Pepper, so there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you on the next one.